सिक्स पॉइंट टू सिक्स वन किलोग्राम ब्लॉक सिचुएटेड ऑन द रफ इनक्लाइन इज कनेक्टेड टू अ स्प्रिंग ऑफ स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट हंड्रेड न्यूटन पर मीटर एस शोन इन द फिगर द ब्लॉक इज रिलीज फ्रॉम द रेस्ट विद द स्प्रिंग इन द अनस्ट्रेच पोजिशन द ब्लॉक मूव टेन सेंटीमीटर डाउन द इनक्लाइन बिफोर कमिंग टू रेस्ट find the coefficient of friction between the block and the incline assume that the spring has negligible mass and the pulley is frictionless now see block is on the incline plane with angle of inclination 37 degree now parallel to the slope mg sin theta force perpendicular to the slope mg cos theta means in short the two components of mg mg sin theta mg cos theta will be as shown in the figure normal reaction that is n perpendicular to the surface now block slide in downward direction so friction is in the opposite direction of the motion so net force on the block that is mg sin theta minus f the same will act on the spring because spring is attached with this one so we can write the net force on the spring that is mg sin theta minus f f that is mu into n we know n that is mg cos theta so we can write the resultant force on the spring that is mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta now here it is given to you the block moves 10 cm down so if block moves by 10 cm means displaced by 10 cm obviously the spring will be stretched by 10 cm so we can say suppose the block is displaced by x then work done by block that will be stored in the stretched spring so work done that is this net force into displacement x so here mg is taken common so mg into sin theta minus mu cos theta into displacement x and this work done is stored in the spring in the form of elastic potential energy so that is half k x square one x will be cancelled mass is 1 kg g 10 sin 37 minus mu as it is cos 37 that is equal to 1 by 2 k is 100 x 10 cm so that is 0.1 now solve this equation and calculate mu we will get that coefficient of friction clear to all of you